Hello guys, so today we'll learn how to make this fancy carousel with this little hover state. But before we get started, let me explain to you what I've got here. So I've got these two images as masks and I have the third image that I'm gonna mask it with the shape so that you guys can learn how I did with the others. And I have these squares that are gonna be positioned in here and finally these rectangles that will add a smooth transition to our carousel. And I already laid out some elements that will only be visible when I change the color. So without further ado, let's get started. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to position these squares in their correct spot by starting with the brown and then green and then pink. I already renamed them. Then we'll have to select the three colors, right hand click and hit group or hit command G on the keyboard. And then I'll send them to the bottom and I'll rename them to colors. Now let me show you how I did mask the photos with the shape. So I simply selected the image and the shape, right hand click, mask with shape, or hit command shift M. Now I'm just gonna adjust the picture. Now we should be ready to place them into our workspace. But you still remember the colors order, right? We should respect that order in order to have a consistent animation as you see i have the brown color with the brown background and the green color with the green background and so on i'm just gonna delete this because i don't need it and now i'm going to select the masks and shapes and then align them to the left just like so and then i'm gonna send all of these layers i mean the masks and shapes to the bottom above the colors. Now we're gonna start the fun part. Let's select the artboard, copy and paste it, and then make sure you're selecting the pink color, just like so, and then drag it out. And then the same thing with the picture, but make sure it's the rectangle that you're selecting, and then drag it out too. And last one, we're gonna drag out the rectangle transition that we've already talked about. Just like so, and we're done. Let's start prototyping now. Head over to prototype and select next. Link it with the other artboard. Make sure the trigger is tap. Type auto animate and then ease in and out and one second duration. Now we should be able to follow the exact same steps with the other artboard. And now let's enjoy our results. Select the first artboard, head over to play, and then look how fancy that is, I like it. Let me add a little something. And one last thing that will make a huge difference is the hover state of next. It's quick and simple. You just hand right click and then select make component and then add the hover state, move it a little bit and then go back to the default state and copy and paste it with the other artboards. And let's see the result play we expand the screen and then see let's click look at this so clean oh uh, i think i think i forgot to link the other next with the other artboard so that's what i'm going to do right now let's link it just like so and then we're gonna be able to see the result right now next good next beautiful thank you guys for watching that is our course for today see you next time